Your efforts have landed us here, my faithful friend. The temple is complete, and we are about to embark upon our greatest exploit. For now, relax, and watch as my net runners dance through the web of cyberspace. Once inside, the world is at my fingertips. Begin. Welcome to the Global Defense Initiative Orbital Defense Matrix. The world. Where to strike? Where will the world most keenly feel the blade of GDI treachery? You have done much to aid the Brotherhood towards this final victory. The choice, my friend, is yours. political leaders of the G7 nations issued a formal statement denying complicity in last Tuesday's tragedy involving Berlin's famed Brandenburg Gate. The death toll in what some are calling an unwarranted attack passed 900 today as rescue workers and United Nations teams continued to sift through the rubble, unearthing 12 more bodies from what was once Berlin's most famous landmark. German President Helmut Biermann, safe in London at the time of the explosion, reiterated his support of the UN statement, despite growing opposition to global defense initiative policies. Biermann labeled the disaster, quote, a mind-numbing accident. GDI Task Force Commander General Mark Shepard, accompanied by U.S. Attorney General Nancy Griffith, testified before a Senate congressional hearing earlier today. Shepard, once the golden boy of international diplomacy, wilted under intense cross-examination from hostile senators, demanding explanations for the blast that leveled the historic landmark and sparked an international debate on the need for more effective safeguards in the age of high-tech warfare. Defensive but unapologetic, Shepard admitted he had no idea how security access for GDI is coming. 